Hey everyone, uh, guess who came by to visit? I can't believe it. Hey, <laughs> glad to I, be here. I mean, I was on the phone with leaders and Ray Higdon and, and Jess uh, came by along with some of uh, his family just to pay us a visit before they go back to Florida. And it was nice to do that, Ray. Yeah, hey, thanks that. for the invite. You got a beautiful home here. I like uh, like hanging out here. Yeah, yeah, we just, we were talking about that, about all the, the mist on the mountains and yeah. why they call it the... The you know Smoky the, Mountains, the right. Smoky Mountains, sense. yeah, and that's what they're doing today. The mountains are smoking, yeah. And Mon Mendoza, Manila, Philippines. Boy, you're up late, but you're a networker. Eddie, in Jakarta, Indonesia, you're up late. Man, you guys are real networkers. Hey, Laura, good to see you. Yeah, they they start showing up, man. Oh, these these awesome. are real leaders. That's uh, awesome. And um, and uh, so we were just talking about um, just something we could. Uh, share, of course. There's been a lot of talk about rank makers and the and the yeah. value that rank makers brings. Oh, yeah, and uh, there's a lot of people excited about it. Um, so we're going to hear more and more about that. Um, but maybe Ray, you could uh, share maybe a few tips about you know just about anything that could, oh, sure that could really help their business. Yeah, absolutely. So um, just for you know, never want to assume someone knows. Real quick, my story is. Uh, I'd work my way up in the corporate world to a pretty good salary, but I was spending more time with pictures of my kids than the real thing. And I looked at my boss and, and you know his boss and her boss, and they were all making more money, but were more miserable. And so that was just a path I, I didn't want. They had less time freedom than you know than more. And uh, so went out on my own and uh, did Florida real estate uh, for a little bit until the market crashed and got completely wiped out. And so uh, a buddy of mine invited me to a home meeting. Uh, back in 2009, and I got serious about network marketing, uh, became the number one income earner in that company, uh, even though I was in personal foreclosure, and uh, we were able to make it happen. And now we you know, coach and train the profession. Uh, we no longer actively build any company so that we can focus on coaching and training, and we just have a, have a good time. So uh, as far as tips, I would say you know, if you're a network marketer and you're wanting to, uh, you know, to you know, grow your business uh, larger, faster, better, I would say one of the tips that we give to people is – uh, don't be so addicted to the outcome and instead of trying to close everyone see who's open and so you know if you're if you're really trying to get someone or you're trying to close them into your team or or get them on your your product uh, sometimes that energy can kind of come across as eager or desperate or needy or uh, just not a very powerful energy but if you're just seeing who's open I, you know, you see if they're open. If they're open, take them to the next step, which might be a presentation or a hotel meeting or, a, you know, whatever, you know, whatever online video maybe. Um, but if you focus on, I just want to find out who's open more than trying to close everyone. It kind of releases a lot of stress. So you're not stressed out over what should I say, and you're not so tied up in knots on uh, on you know saying the wrong thing or so worried about that. See if they're open. If they're open, you know, take them to the next step. Um, if I had you know one. Another tip for you would be uh, say less to more people. A lot of people will spend six months on their brother-in-law, and just even if you do get them in, it's probably not a, that great of a deal. Um, but I, th I see way too many people spend too much time on uh, on any one person, and there is no. It doesn't matter if they're the mayor of the town. Uh, there is no one person that you should you know suspend talking to all kinds of other people for and just focus all your energy on any one individual and so say less to more people you know talk to more people I always equated our numbers like as far as bringing in customers and bringing in recruits it always came down to how many people were we talking to mm. and so if there was ever a dip it was okay well how many people we talked to and it was always less and so talk to more people say less to them use the tools and uh, and I would say also um, you know, know that this is a long-term business, just like any business should be. You know, I like what Mark Cuban says. He says, uh, "Have a commitment strategy more than a, uh, you know, a sales strategy, right? Or more an exit strategy. Have a commitment strategy." And so, what are you going to do in the next, you know, two, three, four, five, ten years to create freedom for you and your family? And unless you have great answers to that, then maybe network marketing is the answer. And so, so what if it takes you, you know, four or five years to, you know, uh, you know, build freedom for you? You probably don't have another alternative. I know when I was in corporate world, I didn't have a path to freedom. I didn't have a, uh, any way to get there. And so, you know, it, it's going to require some commitment. It's going to require some time. And so, you know, don't, don't quit when the going gets tough because that doesn't speed anything up. Uh, look at, okay. 
how many years am I going to put into this to build that freedom for myself and how would I do it without it? And most people don't have a good answer to that. So just a few tips for you. Hopefully I'll yeah. help some people out. Yeah, that's an excellent point. Oh, excellent. Thanks. I talked about that last night. And oh, wow. Also, I was talking about, uh, was it Angel? Um, Angel, what? yeah. You know, the 10-year. Uh, yeah, yeah you, the 10-year the plan because you yeah. mentioned uh, – she used to go into Walmart yeah. at late Big at students. night, and yeah. they would, and they would, and she, and and she would, uh, when she would, you know, show them what she has, they'd say, "Well, how long does it take to be successful?" And she said, "You know what? What she say? Does it?" What, she said, "Why? Why does that matter? Why does that she matter? Goes, what if it takes ten years? Do you have yeah. a ten-year plan to yeah. uh, to be financially free?" And most people don't. Yeah, and that's excellent. That's excellent, because where are those people going to be in ten years? Walmart. Yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah. Well, we just thought we would share something uh, really quick, and yeah. and we wanted to do that. We we love all you guys out there, and uh, look forward to having you on my next uh, face uh, Facebook uh, live. But I thought this was special doing it with Ray, sure, yeah, man. For sure, Ray's so awesome, man. Uh, <laughs> so thanks everyone for tuning in, and I will talk to you soon. Have a great and wonderful day. Whatever you're doing, do it with passion and love. Yep. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye bye, guys.